Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about insertion sort. Insertion sort is an in-place comparison based sort. It divides the list into two parts, a sorted part and an unsorted part. It works by sequentially picking up unsorted items and inserting them into right position in the sorted array. Let's see what it means by taking an example list of unsorted numbers. This list is divided into two parts, sorted part on the left and unsorted part on the right. Initially, there is only one element in the sorted side and remaining list is in the unsorted side. Now I am also listing the position of each of the element. Since in arrays, the index starts from 0, I am giving the position number starting from 0. If you are not familiar with array indexes, my suggestion is to view our video on arrays first. Coming back to insertion sort, the way it works is that it picks up the first member of unsorted array and creates a copy of it in variable key. It then starts comparing backwards with sorted array. If the value is greater than the number, then it is just shifted down. Here 9 is greater than 6, so it is shifted down. It continues doing it till it finds lesser value or end of sorted array is read. Here we have reached end of sorted array, so now key is copied to first empty space. This completes the first pass. Now the sorted array has two numbers and unsorted has remaining four. In the next pass, it starts by taking the first element in unsorted array and copying it in the key. It then starts comparing backwards with sorted array till it finds a value lesser than or till end of sorted array is reached. Here first 9 is compared with 8. It is higher, so it is moved right. Now 6 is less, so it stops comparing any further and key is inserted between 6 and 9. This completes the second pass. Now it will go through next pass. Here now three elements are in sorted and three are in unsorted array. It starts by taking the first element of unsorted array and copying it in the key. It then starts comparing backwards with sorted array till it finds a value lesser than or till the end of sorted array is reached. Here first 9 is compared with 2. It is higher, so it is moved right. Next 8 is also higher, so it is shifted. Then 6 is also higher, so it is also shifted right. Since we have reached end of sorted array, key is copied in the first position. This completes this pass. In next pass, it again starts by taking the first element of unsorted array and copying it in the key. It then starts comparing backwards with sorted array till it finds a value lesser than it or till end of sorted array is reached. Here first 9 is compared with 7, it is higher, so it is moved right. Next 8 is also higher, so it is shifted right. Then 6 is compared, it is smaller, so it stops and copies 7 in between 6 and 8. This completes this pass. In next pass, 1 is copied in key. Then it is compared with 9, 8, 7, 6, 2, all of which are greater, so are shifted right. We reach the end of the sorted array, so the number 1 is copied to the beginning. With this, the array is sorted. A few points to note here is that the list is divided into two parts, sorted and unsorted list. Initially, sorted list has only one member and unsorted list has n-1 members. Since a pass is run for every unsorted number, there are n-1 passes. In every pass, the first number of unsorted array is copied to the key. The number is compared backwards with the sorted array. If the value is greater than the number, then the number is shifted down. If a lesser number is encountered or we reach end of sorted array, key is copied to the empty position next to it. 
Now let's see how we will write the pseudo code for it. Take an array or list of size n in variable arr. When we look at our example, we saw that if you have n elements, then you run pass for all elements from index 1 to end. So this will be our first loop to run the pass for i from 1 to n. Now for each pass, you copy the first element of unsorted list in key. Then you start from last member of sorted array, which is position i minus 1. We pass through the sorted array in reverse till we reach end of the sorted array, which is index 0, or till key is less than any sorted array element. If element is larger, it is moved to right. This loop continues till either of the condition is met. Once it comes out of the while loop, then the key is copied to the next free position. This process continues till all passes are completed. Now let's convert the pseudo code to Java code. I'm assuming we are getting the array as function parameter, but you can write the main and take it from the user as well. The length of the array is stored in variable n. First, we will write the outer for loop, which will run a pass for each number in unsorted array. So it will run from index 1 to n. Then we will copy the first number in unsorted array in key variable. Next, we initialize j to last member of the sorted array, which is i minus 1, and run the while loop in reverse till we reach the beginning of the array or till sorted array value is greater than key. If the sorted array value is greater, then we just move the value to right. Once it is out of the while loop, the key is copied to next available position. This process continues until the whole array is sorted. I hope you were able to understand insertion sort. If you still have any doubts, you can reach out to us at simplycoding.in. Thank you and goodbye.